this build series episode, we're fitting out the last of the cockpit by fitting the steering box and fitting out the dash. Here, I'm just centralizing the steering box in the chassis. Another great King Composites product is their knee guard, which I fit now so it was easier to handle it earlier. Final job for the steering box is to fit the lines. The lower hose, which is the bigger of the two, is low pressure. The smaller of the two is high pressure feed and must be a special high pressure hose and fittings. Now onto the dash. I use masking tape to draw on because it's easier to see and a ruler and a square to measure out where I'm going to draw. Always remember, measure twice and cut once. Up first is the gauge holes in the drill press, using a hole saw. I use a piece of emery paper to just to burr the edges. The ignition switch is up next. Here I have a normal drill, which I have ground into a sheet metal drill. The advantage to using this style drill is the point in the middle locates on your mark and it stops it from wandering. And then the outer edges do all the cutting, which leaves a burrless hole. This washer has a locating tab to hold the switch straight up and down. This requires us to drill a small hole for the tab to go in. The final part is drilling holes for all the ignition parts and Caltech. I also forgot to add that I cut a slotted hole and fitted a grommet for the wiring loom to pass through.
So here's a little trick for getting your gauges square. Is, um, obviously they have the pegs which uh, take the screws. One thing you can do is get a ruler and sit them on, on them. And then just slightly turn them so the ruler sits flat on, on all four of them. So then obviously when we flip round to the other side, uh, we've got the gauges dead level across the little screens.